Welcome to the Thyroid Fixer Podcast, where I'm all about helping you lose that stubborn weight that won't come off no matter what you do. Get off your couch at 2 p.m. and get through your day with energy and stop counting the hairs that come out of your head. I'm your host, Dr. Amy, and I'm here to help you get optimized with your thyroid and your hormones. It's all part of living our mantra, better thyroid, better hormones equals a better life. So let's get you back to being the badass human that you're meant to be. Let's approach it from a thyroid and hormone optimization standpoint. Between myself and my guests, you will be loaded down with information to take control of your health and get back to being you. So let's get started. You've probably heard about collagen. I talk about it all the time. Love collagen. It's the protein that keeps your skin young and smooth. But did you know that your skin needs minerals to use that collagen properly? So your skin cells rely on close to a dozen minerals every day. Selenium, zinc, reverses sun damage, copper, helps your skin cells absorb collagen protein to become smoother and more elastic. Go copper. Silicon increases collagen uptake too. So if you want your skin to look smooth and hydrated, you have to make sure that you're getting enough minerals. And right now the problem is 97% of Americans have at least one mineral deficiency and then 70% have two or more. That's just crazy. So this is why I love Beam Minerals. Their liquid mineral supplements give you every single essential mineral your body uses in the right ratios. Beam makes minerals simple. You take a shot of liquid every morning, all your mineral needs are covered without a cabinet full of pills and powders. So if you want to support your skin and make sure your collagen supplements are actually working for your skin, then give Beam Minerals a try. Head to Beam Minerals, B-E-A-M, M-I-N-E-R-A-L-S.com and use the code Dr. Amy for 20% off your first order. I know that fat loss as we age really kind of becomes a hurdle and we can overcome that hurdle, I promise you. So I am joining forces again with my dear friend and fat loss expert, Natalie Jill, to bring you another free masterclass on lasting fat loss in midlife and beyond. So we are going to teach you just three simple foundational strategies for fat loss in midlife because it gets tougher as you crest the big 4-0, what you used to do in your 20s and 30s no longer works in your 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond. So we need to change that up. Simple nutrition and workout hacks, how to up your fat loss game. Even if you're experiencing injury or pain, you can't work out, we get it. She's been there, I've been there. So I'm going to invite you for a live virtual workshop on Wednesday, June 26th, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll put the link in the show notes. I would love to see you there. Just join us, join us live and get these tips so that you can start moving forward in your fat loss journey. I understand how hard it is and I want to help you. We want to help you. So we'll see you on Wednesday. Have you ever heard of the baobab fruit? It's really interesting and it is such an affordable way to increase your antioxidants because this thing is a multi-talented, multivitamin, multi-mineral, one-of-a-kind supplement in powder form that you throw into your shakes. Oh my God, it just pretty much becomes a no-brainer. So this particular Baobab Boost from Trim Healthy Mama, my two favorite ladies on the planet, they introduced me to this amazing antioxidant and I fell in love. I put it in all the time. Every single shake that I have, I put the Baobab powder in. It's citrus and sherbet tasting dried flesh, has five times the fiber of oats and a higher antioxidant level than any food on the planet. That's eight times that of the super berry acai and more than blueberries and pomegranates combined. So quit eating all the sugar and just use organic baobab fruit pulp. It's that easy. Because Trim Healthy Mama, they put that into a nice powder. Like I said, I just scoop it right out, throw it into my shake. Oh my gosh, it reduces inflammation and helps with weight loss. And the other really interesting thing about it is it's kind of working as an appetite suppressant. Now I know it's not touted for that, 
But when you put it in your shake, especially first thing in the morning, throw that into a nice protein shake, you'll notice that your appetite is definitely curbed. So now I'm thinking of this perfect stack to replace or, or supplement those GLPs out there on the market. What if we did Baobab and Metabolism Fixer together? That would be crazy at controlling your appetite. And with the Baobab, you're getting all those antioxidants. It's, it's amazing. And this powder is so affordable. It is so affordable. So you're going to go to store.trimhealthymama.com and look up Baobab. It's B-A-O-B-A-B, Baobab Boost Powder. Uh, these ladies have just gone all out with their entire line, but this is one of my favorites because I started using it. And I have to say that I noticed the appetite suppression difference. And then when I dove down the rabbit hole of what else is in it, the antioxidant content, the multi-mineral content, it just becomes a no-brainer. So store.trimhealthymama.com, look for Baobab powder. Enjoy. I don't think that we can talk about fat loss enough because it's it's a real problem. And especially after we move into our 40s, 50s, 60s, it becomes even more of a problem because what we used to do in our 20s and 30s just simply doesn't work anymore. I was actually at an event this past week in London, the Health Optimization Summit. Great, great speakers across the board. They had a panel with Mindy Peltz and Dr. Stephanie Estima. And they were actually talking about how the body changes as we move into midlife. And there are actual shifts that start to occur, obviously, in your endocrine system. So your thyroid, there is such thing as thyroid pause, where our thyroid starts to downregulate, really, as we start to have these hormonal shifts. So if it didn't crap the bed in your days of being pregnant with those hormonal cascades that throw our body into a complete stressed out state, yes, pregnancy is a stressor. Then it starts to happen in perimenopause and menopause as our hormones start to shift and change and move around. As stressors become heavier, we're taking care of our parents, we're dealing with being an empty nester, maybe you're doing a career change or a total move across the country. All of these things are stressors that really start to affect our ability to lose weight. And then when we add on top of that environmental stress, the toxins in our world, the increase in autoimmune conditions, mainly from the toxins in our world, EMF exposure, nutrient deficiencies, mineral deficiencies. I mean, of course, we're running into a brick wall when it comes to weight. So when we look at all of these factors, there are some things that we can control and some things we can't control. There are some things that we have to maybe take the next step on in order to make progress. So I really want to break that down for you today. So first of all, whenever we're looking at fat loss, yeah, we have to start with the thyroid. And I'm just saying that because that's my jam. I'm serious. We have to start with the thyroid because if the thyroid gland is off, that is your master metabolic switch. That controls everything in your body. So your insulin regulation, glucose regulation, your hormonal cascade, your detoxification, your liver processing, whether or not you're pooping every day, which is also essential for detox and hormonal balance, it all starts with the thyroid. So if that is off, even things like Manjaro, Ozempic, they're not going to work. And I've seen this. I've seen this with my patient population. They do not work when the thyroid gland is not working properly, when you are not optimized, when you don't have enough thyroid hormone in your body, all those jabs with the GLPs, not going to produce weight loss. So if you're in that boat right now and you're like, you know what? I've been spending hundreds of dollars, maybe thousands of dollars every month on these weight loss drugs and nothing's happening. Go back and start with your thyroid. And then we're going to move to, once we get that balanced, then we can chip away and really kind of at the same time. So we're going to be optimizing your thyroid at the same time as we're addressing any kind of insulin resistance that might be present. So this is where we go back. We look at your insulin. Your fasting insulin number needs to be below a six. Then we move over and we look at your, your A1C, your hemoglobin A1C. 
that needs to be between a 4.8 and a 5.2. Then we're going to move over and look at your, what is your actual fasting glucose? So wearing a CGM is amazing at knowing to, to give you feedback so that you can know where is my blood sugar at any given point during the day. Did I just eat something that was technically it's supposed to be low carb or keto and my blood sugar just went to a 180. Did I not sleep well last night? So now my blood sugar just keeps spiking and it, it, it's the orange and the red all day long. I don't understand. This is what I eat every single day, but, but my CGM is telling me that I have this erratic glucose. Get your numbers in check and really know whether or not you have a problem with regulating your body's blood glucose or insulin. Now, what is insulin? Insulin is a release. It's a hormone. And it is needed for life. So insulin kind of gets in that same category as cortisol, where they will both be demonized as if we're not supposed to have insulin or we're not supposed to have cortisol. The goal is not to bottom yourself out with both of those hormones. The goal is always for hormonal balance. Our body always wants to be in a state of balance. So we move over and we have to look at your adrenals and your cortisol and your blood sugar and how all of that works together. But that insulin is released from the pancreas. Remember, insulin is good, just like cortisol released from your adrenals. It's a good thing. We need it for life. Insulin is released and it's released by the pancreas in response to the food that we eat. So let's say you just down some pizza and beer, but I've been very open that sometimes that occurs on the weekend. Then I have to do damage control afterwards because man, my glucose is all over the place. But let's say you eat pizza and beer and then you're wearing a CGM and you're seeing that your glucose shoots up super high. Well, with that, extra insulin is released from the pancreas and that excess insulin will help to lower your blood glucose level to a more optimal range and it will actually help shuttle nutrients into the cell. But The problem is, is when we have excess insulin, when we have too much insulin floating around the body, that's where we run into trouble. So that insulin is released. And yes, it does its job at lowering your glucose and shuttling the nutrients into the cell, into the muscle cell specifically. But then there's too much floating around. Now we have excess insulin and insulin is the fat storage hormone. So we want that absolutely balanced. To control, better control insulin, yes, we have the GLPs, They were originally made for type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance, but you don't have to go that far. You can start with using things like berberine or even the prescription drug metformin. I prefer to start with berberine. That's why I put that in my blood sugar fixer. I always start there when we see insulin numbers above a 6 or an A1C above a 5.2. We always want to start with berberine to get that better balance. And then that's going to help with blood sugar control as well. So as your blood sugar is on this wild roller coaster ride, berberine comes in and it kind of squishes those highs and lows into a nice wave-like pattern. So this is where you get blood sugar control through the day and you get nice steady energy through the day too because your body's not on a crazy roller coaster ride. You also get better control over your cravings because what happens when our glucose is on that roller coaster ride is in those lows, that's where we get hangry. That's where our bodies tell us, hey, go to the vending machine and get some sugar and get your blood sugar back up again. It's too low. So adding in berberine absolutely will help with that. Moving on from insulin, we have to look at our hormones and our hormone balance. And you always hear me talk about the importance of optimal levels of testosterone. Testosterone is our get shit done hormone, just as a reminder. It gives us drive and motivation and strength to go to the gym. And it gives us a libido. And it also protects our lean muscle. Our our organ of longevity is our muscle. If you lose muscle as you age, you are at a much greater risk of all-cause mortality. The statistics of people that break their hip, so the older population, if you have a hip fracture, you are at a 50% increase of death within the next year after that fracture if you don't have the muscle to protect you. That muscle mass, that lean muscle tissue is what protects our bones so that you can fall and you're not going to break a bone. You're going to get back up and keep going. Maybe rub out a bruise on your hip. You're not going to end up in the hospital and potentially die within the next year. 
But we see this over and over again because we lose muscle after the age of 40 as well. So as we enter midlife, a whole lot starts to happen in our bodies and our muscles actually become weaker and they start to deteriorate. It's called sarcopenia or the wasting of muscle tissue. Our bones start to get fragmented where you look at a bone on x-ray and it looks like all these little holes, all these little pockets are in our bones. So the bones become more fragile with the loss of hormones and we lose muscle when we lose our testosterone, our get shit done hormone. We need our hormones in balance. When we have our hormones in balance and we keep our muscle and we have a better body composition with less body fat and more lean muscle tissue, we are obviously going to be a better metabolic furnace. We are going to be metabolically efficient. Also, tying back to insulin, as we lose estrogen and progesterone, insulin resistance increases. We become way more insulin resistant as we age. And this is due to lack of hormones, having nothing to do with your diet. So even people on a relatively low carb diet that let's say you used to get away with that bowl of berries and that sweet potato, you just can't anymore. It's like the weight just keeps coming on and on and on and you're eating right and you're having the right carbs. And yeah, they're the vegetables and they're the the antioxidants loaded with fruit and the beautiful sweet potato. Oh, it's so good. But your body just can't handle it anymore. That's the decline in hormones that is now coming back and affecting your insulin and blood sugar control, as well as your overall metabolism. I'm checking in with you. How's your energy these days? How's your skin? How's your muscle strength? These are things that are very, very important to me. And I know just from research that after the age of 30, our mitochondria starts breaking down. And these are the powerhouses of the cell that provide us with muscle strength and better skin and abundant energy through the day. So I've added in something that I wanted to share with you, Timeline Nutrition's MitoPure. So when we look into research and healthy aging, it really focuses on that pivotal role that our mitochondria plays in our body. And without our mitochondria working at top notch, then health is just declining. And that's not what we want. Daily wear and tear on a mitochondria is inescapable, but we can do something about it now. Timeline Nutrition's MitoPure is the first supplement that has been clinically shown to replace and rebuild damaged mitochondria. And this results in a boost in cellular energy. And actually, research has shown that individuals experience an increase in muscle strength and endurance without even altering their diet and exercise routine. So, I mean, I can personally attest to feeling the difference. I am now going to ask you to feel the difference. So I invite you to go to TimelineNutrition.com. They are giving my community 10% off of MitoPure. If you use the code Dr. Amy, so you are going to go to TimelineNutrition.com backslash Dr. Amy and use the code Dr. Amy, D-R-A-M-I-E. So TimelineNutrition.com backslash D-R-A-M-I-E and use the code Dr. Amy at checkout. We know that progesterone helps with T4 to T3 conversion. So now we're tying the hormones back to the thyroid. The thyroid has control over the hormones. The hormones can tie back to the thyroid and affect our ability to lose weight. Now we move into lifestyle factors as we're kind of chipping away at this list of all the different things that we have to look at. So as we move into perimenopause and menopause and our hormones start to decline, our sleep gets effed up. And now you're either lying awake at night with this active, crazy brain that just keeps ruminating on problems or thinking on problems that haven't even occurred yet. That keeps us up. We have the dysregulated glucose, blood sugar regulation, that now we're getting these highs and lows. And when you dip in the middle of the night, you wake up, your body wakes you up. So there's your sleep dysregulation. We have the hot flashes that come with declining hormones. We have the night sweats. We have just restless leg and just really the inability to get into a deep sleep. Of course, all tied back to aging and declining of hormones that we have to look at, but sleep is absolutely vital for weight loss. So if it's possible, and I'm going to give this credit to Dr. Stephanie, she said this last week at HOS on the panel. She said, I'm going to challenge anyone that can't lose weight. Sleep nine hours a day 
for the next week. Every single night, go to bed a little bit earlier than you normally do. Shut off the Netflix. Go to bed and get nine hours and see what happens with your weight. That is how vital sleep is to our bodies, to our healing processes, and to our overall weight control. Speaking of Netflix, what kind of exposure are you getting of light before bed? That can throw off your circadian rhythm. So if you're eating too late into the evening, if you're sitting on your computer, if you're watching TV, if you're playing on your phone and you don't have blue light blocking glasses on, you are doing yourself a disservice and you will absolutely disrupt your sleep, which will then come back and affect your weight. What about drinking enough water? Again, a woman came up to me at HOS. She's been following me for, for years now. She said, well, number one, she takes Hashimoto's fixer and that has helped decrease her antibodies and her inflammation. She said, you know what else I learned from you? I learned to drink water. I wasn't drinking enough water. And as soon as I upped my water intake, the weight started coming off. So we had the Hashimoto's fixer coming in, decreasing her antibodies, stopping the attack on her thyroid, decreasing inflammation. But then we know that black cumin seed oil also helps with weight loss. And then on top of that, she started drinking more water, which helps her with the weight loss. So beautiful things happen when you start drinking more water. So if you want a, a very simple hack to do, sleep nine hours a night and drink, I'm going to say a gallon of water a day. It's going to be tough at first. You're going to struggle. You're going to be like, this is way too much water for me. But as you drink more, your body actually gets thirsty for more and you will crave more water, trust me. And you'll be able to drink more water. And then you'll see that water retention come off along with weight. You see how all this is tied together? We have sleep, we have EMF exposure, we have light, we have circadian rhythm, tying back to hormones, the hormones tying back to insulin, tying back to the thyroid, the thyroid kind of the hormones. Oh my gosh, it's all interconnected. So this is why I really like to target each thing all at the same time, even if it's a little bit overwhelming for you, everything works together, right? So we can't just throw thyroid hormone at you. We can't just throw the get shit done hormone at you or estrogen or progesterone. If you're not sleeping, if you're not drinking enough water, if you're sitting on your phone until midnight, scrolling through Instagram, it's not good. And for that matter, even if you have your blue light blocking glasses on, turn off the unnecessaries. You don't have to be on your phone until 11 p.m. at night. You don't have to be sitting in front of the TV. Go read a book, wind down, do something good for your body, for yourself and for your circadian rhythm. Do not eat up until the time you go to bed. That will disrupt your sleep as well. When you first get up in the morning, if you can, doing simple things like going outside, looking at the sun, grounding yourself, walk out with your bare feet. It's okay. Remember, we used to run around on our bare feet when we were kids, go out into the grass, ground yourself for a moment, and then look at the sun, look at natural light to get your body going first thing in the morning instead of slamming down a cup of coffee. Limit your caffeine through the day. That's going to affect your sleep at night. That's going to come back and affect your weight loss. And then, of course, adding in things like thyroid fixer, metabolism fixer with T2, over 30 years of research has been done on T2 or 3,5-dioetoelthyronine. It shows an increase in basal metabolic rate, increase in thermogenesis. It browns white adipose tissue. So it turns your white squishy fat into brown fat. It promotes mitochondrial uncoupling, which that also increases thermogenesis. It increases reactive oxygen species degradation. So it reduces our oxidative stress. It increases glutathione content, which is our master antioxidant. T2 acts like an exercise mimetic. So it's going to lower leptin. It's going to improve our insulin sensitivity. It's going to increase our caloric expenditure. It's going to reduce fatty liver. It's going to improve our cholesterol. Exercise and T2 do the same thing. So it acts like an exercise mimetic. And the most important thing is, is T2 only burns fat, it does not burn muscle, our organ of longevity that we want to keep. So adding in something like thyroid fixer or metabolism fixer, both with T2 in it, can absolutely help. Metabolism fixer has suppressant in it. So that is what's going to come in and help take the edge off your appetite. If you stack that with berberine and then even throwing in some baobab powder, which I absolutely love from Trim Healthy Mama, that is a really nice GLP 
alternative cocktail. So if you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars a month on the GLPs and you don't want to really kind of go that route, not that there's anything wrong with that. We'll talk about that in a future episode. But if you just don't want to go that route and you want to try something natural, do metabolism fixer with berberine, blood sugar fixer, and baobab powder, and you will notice a tremendous improvement in your appetite control. Tremendous. And then, yes, everything is going to work together. So when you're not overeating and you're not eating late and you're sleeping better and all the things that occur as we age that we need to get a better grasp on that we just can't get away with like we did when we were young, we need to reel in and take a look at if we actually want to go into our second half of life better than the first half. If we want to move into that second half of life with a a lean, muscular, healthy body, free of disease, we can do that. Now, listen, if you're dealing with some stuff right now, I get it, but we can improve on that. We can even, by improving your thyroid and your hormones, we can improve detoxification pathways. We can improve your response to being exposed to mold and heavy metals because your body is stronger. Let's build your body up. And then when it comes to that pesky weight loss that just won't happen, it will happen because we're going to be shifting your body. We're going to be shifting your endocrine system. We're going to be shifting the way that your body deals with glucose. We're going to be shifting your adrenals. Oh my gosh, we didn't even talk about stress and your your thoughts and how you think about your body and how you think about your current condition and your weight loss. That affects you hands down. It affects your body. If you believe that you won't lose weight, I have news for you. Um, You won't. If you truly believe and you walk around, I'm so sick, no one can help me, I've done all the things, I've done every program, I'm not going to change, my body's not going to change, I'm going to be fat forever. Yes, you're correct. Because you keep telling yourself that and your cells will respond to what you tell it. It, This has been proven in science, this is not woo. Go look up Dr. Joe Dispenza's work. Go back and remember the old day, remember the secret? right? That was like the book of all time. And it was really based in Earl Nightingale. Oh my gosh, I don't know if we're going back to the 30s, possibly, maybe the 40s. Earl Nightingale wrote a small book that is all about our thoughts driving our success in our life. That then kind of transformed 50 years later into The Secret, and now we have Dr. Joe Dispenza and many other people doing mindset work and actually measuring the brain waves and how it affects our body, how our thoughts actually affect our body, how our thoughts affect our health. We're seeing changes in full body disease, things like cancer going into remission because of the way that we're thinking. So if we can put cancer into remission with our thoughts, you think that we can get you to lose weight? by shifting your thoughts a little bit. Incredibly important. Didn't even dive down. That really requires an episode in and of itself. So we'll do that some other time. But fat loss as we age just gets to be so complex. Simple tools you can do, berberine, T2, getting your hormones optimized, getting your thyroid optimized, getting better sleep, drinking more water, shutting off the electronics, blocking the EMFs however you can, de-stressing however you can. And then of course, movement. Now this is also free. We can go out and walk. Walking is tremendous. We know that walking improves insulin sensitivity and decreases our leptin and our insulin and improves our blood sugar control and improves our hunger. Doing something that simple can make a huge difference. But of course, I want you to come over here and LHS and lift heavy shit because activation of the muscle and using that resistance training makes our muscles more metabolically active. That's going to burn extra body fat and just overall improve your body composition. But then you're also improving that organ of longevity. You're keeping your muscle tissue on. That is through movement. And listen, at the end of the day, I don't care if you do Pilates, if you do yoga, if you do air squats, if you do some push-ups off of your knees, if you do a YouTube video, if you go on and walk a couple times a day, whatever it is you need to move because sitting at a desk like I am right now has already been proven to lower your metabolism. 
That's why people have standing desks. That's why people take breaks and go outside and get the fresh air and get that movement going because sitting at a desk will absolutely drop your metabolism and wreak havoc with your body. So movement, another free thing that you can do to increase fat loss and to improve your metabolism as you age. And, you know, one thing I never do is ask for reviews on Apple. So Apple, just like any other platform, it has its algorithm. So it starts to feel out, hey, are people leaving reviews here? And I want this, I want the Thyroid Fixer podcast to be shown to more people. So I'm going to ask you to please leave an iTunes review for me, if you would. And that is going to help spread the word of All the things that we're talking about on here, thyroid and hormones and detox and adrenals and the gut and and everything from my solo episodes like this one to the amazing guests that I have on the podcast as well. So I thank you for listening. Thank you in advance for leaving a review. Hey guys, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I hope you loved it. Also, anything that you hear on this podcast is not intended to diagnose or treat any kind of medical condition. So we always recommend that you check with your medical provider, your doctor, your nurse practitioner before implementing anything that you hear on this podcast. And if you want to find out more about working together, you can click the link below in the show notes to book a discovery call. And there you'll be talking to a member of my team. They are an extension of me. They are amazing. And you and I will talk after that once we get you all signed up and you and I get to work together. All right, I hope to see you soon.